Hello friends, my name is Gaurav Kumar and welcome to the Yoga Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss about very interesting concept about the Panch Koshas that is the five sheets of life. This concept actually comes from the Taitariya Upanishad. In Taitariya Upanishad, there is a conversation going on between father and the son. The father is Varuna and the son is Bhrugu. Bhrugu basically asked the question to the father, O oh father, what exactly the thing is this whole universe is made up of? Then father replied him, go and search about it. He told him to do some tapas. Tapas is basically the inner research. When Bhrugu goes to the wood and did some research, he came back after some time and he told, Oh father, I found an answer. And the answer was that the whole universe is made up of Anna. This Anna. Anna means food, that gross thing. Everything is made up of this. So, father has told him that Varuna has told him it's good. He was happy about the research of his son that you at least found the one or the first basic principle of this life that is the un. And what is what it is? This is basically Anna Mai Kosha. If you talk about Anna, Anna means food. Anna Mai Kosha which represent the food that is comes from the sthula sarir as uh, as from the vedantic philosophy there are basically three types of body there are basically three types of body and what are these the sthula sarir gross body the sukshma sarir sarir subtle body and the karan sarir causal body we'll come to these things but let us first understand this Anname Kosha. So Anname Kosha that is related to the food that represent our gross body. Fine. That represent the gross body. So body is basically here in this Koshas there is another concept of Pancha Bhutas. So what is this Panchabhutas is nothing but the earth, water, air, fire and space. These Panchabhutas are the basic things through which this body is actually made up of. Then Bhradu, Bhragu, sorry, Bhragu has found out that the body and this is the cause of the creation of this universe. But again Varuna has told him, Oh my son, go again and do some more research about it. He again went to the woods and do the further research. Now he come up with the another thing. He again say, Oh father, this is not Anna. This is the Prana. This is the Prana. Prana means vital energy. What exactly the thing is that body is being exec executed by you? That is the Prana. Prana is responsible to execute this body. So that is Pranamay Kosha. That is the second sheath of life, pranamay, vital energy. Again, but that prana comes under this, sukshma or sthula sarir. Sorry, sukshma or subtle body. Fine. So, pranamay kosha, that is the vital energy. And again, there are the concept of the panch prana. So what are these? 
देर आर फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ प्राण प्राण अपान समान उदान एंड व्यान सो अबाउट दीज प्राणास एंड पंचभूतास विल रीड और विल स्टडी इन द फर्दर फर्दर वीडियोज फाइन सो अगेन सो सो दिस इज ओनली द सेकेंड सेकेंड शीड ऑफ लाइफ दैट इज द प्राणमय वाइटल एनर्जी सो वट एग्जैक्टली इज एग्जीक्यूटिंग दिस बॉडी दैट इज प्राण नाउ अगेन अगेन प्रभु हैज टोल्ड हिम ओ सन अगेन गो टू द वुड्स एंड डू सम मोर रिसर्च नाउ ही अगेन वेंट बैक टू द वुड्स एंड वट ही फाइंड आउट फादर देर इज दिस मनस दिस माइंड which is exactly executing the whole universe over creating this whole universe again what exactly the manomay kosha what exactly is going on in our mind our emotions this ko this kosha basically defines the uh, our emotional things our emotional life fine but how so again the mind is kind you you can understand it like this that the, uh, that is manas and that is ego and that is chitta chitta is nothing but a memory this is a memory this manas is mind chitta is memory and ego is iness we can understand this manomay kosha with a very beautiful example suppose if you'll see a good flower then how how would you recognize it you you'll recognize it through your eyes you can see the image of that flower and through your eyes the signal goes to mind then mind recognize and send it back to the memory that is chitta then you imagine if you have seen it then you can say yes i like it that like like or dislike concept come at this state i like this flower i hate this flower i like this person i hate this person likes and dislike concept comes under this manomay kosha fine but again father prabhu has told him oh my son you are improving in the right direction again go again and do some more research he again went to the woods and now what, this is the thing what he comes after that is vignana vignana means knowledge now what he comes after then he told oh father this is that knowledge which is differentiating this man from the animals because till this level manomay and this level even the animals are doing the same thing they have the body they have the breath they have their own likes and dislikes up to certain level we can say fine but there is something which is differentiating a man from the animal that is this vignanamay kosha what exactly it is this is that intellect that man that human being has this intellect so this is the factor which actually explain about discriminating things yes it is fine that you have seen a flower you like it you want to have it but there is a intellect there is a second level of mind which tell you no if you'll pluck it might be your neighbor 
or the other person would not like it so the thing or the things in your life which actually tells you to do something or not to do something what is right and what is wrong so these things comes from the vijnanama kosha that is the knowledge sheath uh, which actually help help us in discriminating between right and wrong fine now but again father has told him again there is something you need to again research about it now again prabhu went to the woods and this time what happened is prabhu never returns so father was very surprised and he again he went to the search for his son to the woods and he was surprised to see that that his son was totally engrossed in the bliss he was totally engrossed in the joy that joy is called ananda and that is the fifth sheath of life that is the fifth sheath of our body from which this whole universe is made up of so this is the fifth one and you can see that this is the karana sharir this is the causal body this is the cause of the creation of the whole universe so what we can see anand mein sorry anna mein kosha prana mein kosha mano mein kosha vijnana mein kosha and anand mein kosha anand mein kosha is the complete bliss and at this stage what happen is we have the total silence and complete harmony and the perfect health if our mental state is at this anandamaya kosha then we are totally into the peaceful state of the mind so hope we have understood this concept so this is the sthula sharir that is the gross body which is our annama kosha sukshma sharir that that is a subtle body which consists these three prana mein mano mein and vijnana mein and this is the third the cause of the creation of the whole universe or you can also understand it like this that whole universe the whole creation is created by this this full joy of the that partic, that supreme being hope you have understood this concept thank you thank you very much